Good morning, everyone. This is how I really look like in the morning. And it's day one of Vlogmas. I'm gonna shower. So if you guys saw my last video, you guys know I'm launching my blog and my web store. So I've sent out some samples for people to try out and just to hear their thoughts. And I just want to thank the people who have agreed to try this stuff out. So thank you, Jenny Lee. Um, many of you know her. Um, also, thank you, Jane and JD. Uh, so thank you, Tommy Martin and his soon-to-be wife, Phoebe. Um, and thank you, Iyanu. Casey from Regimentary, thank you for trying this stuff out. Thank you, Jenny from Gentle Strength. Uh, she's been with us since like day one pretty much so thank you for trying this stuff out and I'm also waiting to hear back from some of the other channels oh and also thank you uh, Tea with MD from Instagram she has a blog you guys should check her out she's a dermatologist and I think that's it for now um, I'm super excited for the store but there's lots of kinks to work out like all the shipping and just like minor details um, stressing out a little bit over it but I'm trying to get it done in time for um, hopefully Hopefully today's launch, so we'll see. So it's about 7.30. I'm gonna make some oatmeal as my breakfast. So I didn't mention this before, but I actually have work today, so I'm eating breakfast and I'm gonna answer some Snapchat questions. Maybe just like one question and then I'm gonna uh, get ready to head out. Hi, I'm from the Dominican Republic. I love you and I want to ask you if your study space is in your bedroom or in other place aside your home. Um, it's usually right here and you guys know I have a desk with like a dedicated study space that I use during step time but just for regular everyday studying I like to be like more out in the open so I'm usually in my living room I like that it's like right next to the kitchen and usually there's a little more light in here so this is usually where I study. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to answer more Snapchat questions throughout the day so you guys can just keep an eye out for that. Actually, I'm gonna answer a few more since I'm just eating and sitting here. Alright, next question. Hey Jamie, I know you're in your third year right now and I'm wondering if you have a medical specialty you're wanting to pursue at this point. Thanks! I'm only halfway through my third year, so I can't say that I have my mind made up exactly. I kind of came into third year thinking that I wanted to do emergency medicine. Um, so the thinking is I wanted to do something a little more procedural. But I've done my OBGYN, and you guys saw I had a really good time during my rotation. So OBGYN is definitely in the running. Um, I haven't done my surgery rotation yet, and that's definitely very hands-on. So um, I'm also looking forward to that. And I think I'll have a better idea after I've done my surgery rotation, medicine rotation, and my emergency medicine rotation. So pretty much um, when I'm done with third year, I think hopefully I'll have a better idea of what I want to do. But those are the ones that I'm considering. <clears throat> Next question. Hi, Jamie. I was wondering what modifications have been made to your class schedule now that you're doing rotations and how that looks. Thank you. God bless. Um, so... You guys know M1, M2 year is a lot of like lecture um, and like kind of just like a lot of book studying. Third year, fourth year, you do, um, your schedule is a little different because you're going to the hospital or going to a clinic or a private practice um, almost every day. Um, and compared to my first and second year where the lectures were recorded and it was optional to just watch the lectures at home. Going to the hospital is obviously not optional, so my schedule right now is a little more um, stringent than the first two years of med school. Um, but you do a lot of learning um, with real patients and just doing things hands-on, um, so it's a different way to learn. And it's, I want to say it's a lot more fun than just like sitting at a desk and learning, but you know, I, I like the first two years of med school too, and I, I like third year too, so just different. Uh, we'll do one more. Hi Jamie, what would you suggest is the best subject to take pre-med and what did you take pre-med? I'm thinking of taking biological sciences but I'm not entirely sure. I don't think that there's like a best major per se for pre-med. I majored in neuroscience and behavior but you can really major in anything you want as long as you get all the prerequisite classes in. So um, you, know, you can do history, literature, anything really, anything that interests you. If anything, I think if you do something 
totally not science related, it would probably help you stand out a little more because if you know that shows that you have other interests outside of science. Um, but you do have to get those prerequisite classes in. So you can either do that during your college years or you can do like a post back. A lot of people do post back after getting their bachelor's degree. So you can also do that to get your um, requisites and prerequisites in. All right, so I'm gonna eat and get ready. <laughs> Hello. All right, guys, I'm ready to go to work. It's going to be a short day, probably from about 9 to 3. And then I'll be back to do my usual Saturday stuff. Bye. I just got home from work. Today I saw something really cool. I saw scarlet fever in a 12 year old child, which I guess doesn't happen that often. His rapid strep was positive and he had the same paper rash that all the textbooks talk about. So it was really cool to see. Um, so I'm home. I actually um, was done with work and I went to go eat, but I didn't have my memory card with me so I couldn't film anything. So I'm still learning, um, getting used to the vlogging thing. Um, and now I'm home and Candy's really hungry. What's up? Alright. Okay, hold on, we'll feed you. Okay. So, plan for the rest of the day. I'm gonna do a little bit of studying and I'm gonna go to the gym, go grocery shopping, and then back home and a little more studying. And that's the plan for the day. So, I'm finally heading to the gym. I actually fell asleep for a little bit. I meant to take like a 10 minute nap, but it was like 40 minutes. <laughs> um, so I'm headed to the gym now and then I'm going to go grocery shopping and then I'm going to come back and I'm actually definitely going and I'm definitely going to study after that. So I'm back home having some dinner, um, have some chicken and broccoli stir fry, some leftovers like the stuffing and the mac and cheese and a side we have a we have some potatoes here. So gonna have some dinner and get started on my So I just finished dinner. I'm gonna be studying um, some health maintenance stuff today. So that means um, I'm looking at how often to screen for hypertension, um, hyperlipidemia, colon cancer, breast cancer, things like that. Um, this is important because when patients come in, we have to ask them, oh, have you gotten your colonoscopy? And depending on their risk factors, we have to know um, how often they should get it and we have to be able to recommend that type of stuff. So I'm studying that. Um, just want to show you guys my to-do list for today. Let's see how much of it I've done. So I've got my grocery shopping done today. I've written my thank you cards. Um, I've checked the order status. I'm going to be reading step, uh, step Up to Medicine. Um, that's my textbook right now. Um, I did my research on scarlet fever because I saw that patient today. I already went to the gym. So few things left here to do. Um, oh, and I mailed out samples. Um, so I still have to make packages, order mailers, do some questions, and um, read my textbooks. So that's on my to-do list for tonight. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs>
so I'm going to finish up studying. Um, before I close the vlog for today, I wanted to answer a few more questions from Snapchat. Good evening from Michigan. So my question is, how do you not let the stress bug you down? Like, how do you stay positive and not get caught up in all the worries? I think a good rule of thumb in regards to dealing with stress is if there is something you can do about it, then do that to reduce your stress and anxiety. But if it's something totally out of your control, then just get it out of your mind and not worry about it. There's no use in wasting your energy on worrying about things you can't change. For example, being stuck in traffic, there's nothing you can do about that. Um, you can choose to not travel during rush hour, um, but once you're stuck in traffic, there's nothing you can do. So just not, worry, not worrying about things like that. Also, a lot of people have anxiety about studying or taking an exam. So you can actually take steps to better prepare yourself and um, so that you're, you're less anxious for a test that's coming up. So you can either use that anxiety or the stress to study, to motivate yourself to study. Um, or if you're not going to do anything about it, then it's not even worth thinking about. So just um, that's sort of my rule of thumb in how I deal with stress and anxiety. Hi, Jamie. So if you had a chance to go back in time, what would you have done differently and why? Thank you very much and keep up the good work. I don't necessarily have any regrets in terms of how I got to med school and, you know, the way I'm studying and all that. Um, but if there is something that if I could go back in time and do a little differently, that would be definitely paying more attention in my Spanish class and trying to master Spanish a little better because um, I realized that at least in, um, where I'm, I'm at, there's a lot of Spanish speaking patients and speaking Spanish and being fluent in Spanish is a very important skill. I'm sure it's true in a lot of different parts of the United States. So that's one thing that I would have liked to work on a little more um, before coming to med school. Hi, I'm Kylie and I'm a pre-med at Nazareth. I was wondering if you listen to any mu music while you study and if you think that it helps you to study better. Um, for me personally, I don't listen to music when I study because I tend to get distracted very easily. Um, but I know that people um, do listen to music when they study, especially if you're studying um, in public spaces like the library or cafe. It's nice to have some um, music in your ear so you're not listening to people talk around you all the time. Um, in those cases, I'll listen to some um, study music playlists that are on Spotify. Um, that's usually my go-to for study music. Also, and all the music that I tend to listen to um, are almost always lyrics free because if there's any lyrics in my mind going into my ears, then it tends to distract me even more. All right, so that's all the questions I'm going to answer for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Vlogmas. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow in episode two of Vlogmas. Bye!